Andy Murray finally made his comeback from a troublesome hip injury on Tuesday. The three-time Grand Slam winner ended an 11-month absence from competitive tennis by losing to Nick Criggios in the Fever Tree Championships at Queen's Club, though it was an encouraging performance. Here, Press Association Sport answers some key questions about his comeback and what lies in store for Murray. Didn't get the win, but what a thrill to see you back in fight mode at Andy underscore Murray biceps folded hands. Murray was still walking gingerly in between points, but he has never been the most relaxed of movers. He did not look to be in pain from his hip and was never seen touching it. There was a period early in the third set when he kept feeling his back, but he later confirmed that was nothing serious and not related to his previous injury. What was his movement like? In general, it was like the Murray of old as he chased lost causes and hunted down drop shots. There were times when he looked to struggle with side-to-side -side movement, and Kyrgios made him do a lot of it, but Murray put that down to being cautious about how his body might react. After 342 days, at Andy underscore Murray returns biceps and makes it Nick Irgios work to the very end for his victory at at Queen's Tennis. Hands clapping read. Overall, it was a solid display on court for Murray considering his lengthy absence. He lacked rhythm on serve, with his first serve percentage down at 56, and there were more errors than usual. But he pushed Kyrgios, a player who is ranked 21 in the world, to the end and had chances to win. How was Murray on court? It did not take long to see that the fire is still raging in Murray's belly. He has lost none of the competitive and fighting spirit that has seen him compete at the top of the men's game for the last decade. He saved two match points and on several occasions gave out his anguished roar that has been so missed by British fans. Great fight but it's not to be for Andy. Murray admitted to feeling tired after his grueling match, but decent overall. There was no specific pain in the hip and he hopes to wake up feeling okay in the morning. When will he play again? When he knows just how he will recover from this game, Murray will speak to his team to decide what is next. There is an ATP Tour tournament in Eastbourne next week that he could potentially play in, as well as exhibition events in the build-up to Wimbledon. As ever, Murray will leave it late before deciding. What a great match. Drama to the end, thrilling rallies throughout. It was just nice to see you playing again, at Andy underscore Murray. Well played, at Nick Irgios. See you in the next round. Again, it all depends on how he recovers. He admitted playing a five-set match would have been difficult for him in his current state and with Wimbledon ten days away that does not bode too well. But given he played in last year's tournament virtually on one leg, it would take a major setback in the next week or so to keep him away.